Welcome to the I Am Church in Jacksonville, Senior Pastor Anthony Mincy. We are a local church with a global impact, where the people of God learn their identity in Christ. We pray that our services will be a blessing to you and your family. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. We thank God for another opportunity to be in his presence and worship and praise with you at home. Those of you that are watching, can you turn me down just a little bit in the speakers? Thank you. Amen. This is a time of praise and worship. So um, this is a familiar song. So many of you that are watching will be able to join in with us today. Amen. We then we want to thank you on behalf of our wonderful pastor and leader and founder of the I Am, Pastor Anthony Mincy, for watching and sharing um, and liking and hearts and all that good stuff. Amen. So come on and uh, worship team, let's go into this song. The blood that jesus shed for me way back on calvary it's that blood that gives me strength from day to day it will never lose its power and it reaches to the highest mountain and it flows to the lowest valley that blood that gives me strength from day to day it will never lose its power come on help me sing the blood, the blood that Jesus shed. The blood that Jesus shed. For me, come on, help me sing way back on Calvary. Calvary. Oh, the blood that gives me strength, that gives me strength from day, from day to day. Valley, oh, yes. 
the blood that gives me strength from day to day. It will never lose. It will never. It's power and it reaches to the highest mountain and it flows to the The blood that gives me strength from day to day, it will never lose its power. Praise God. Thank God for, amen, the worship team. Thank God for, amen, my daughter appeared pregnant but still working. Amen. Amen. We have to get her a seat to sit down because we're going to have a, an addition to the I Am Church real soon this month. We're going to have Christopher joining us real soon. We thank God, amen, for this broadcast with the I Am Church. Thank you all for joining with us. Thank you for being uh, in tune with us today. Amen. You can be doing many other things, but you choose, amen, to be home. You choose to sit down. You choose to click on the I Am Church. And for that, we're grateful for you doing so. Amen. Blessings to you. Let's make sure all the other mics are muted. Everything is muted but me. Amen, if you will, sound personnel. But we thank God again for this broadcast here at the I Am Church. Amen, again, thank God for you all who are viewing with us. Amen. We will certainly be getting a word from the Lord today. Amen. This thing has been burning in my spirit. But I do want to throw this out at you before I go any further. You ought to be a soul winner. Amen. Tell somebody, touch that neighbor, touch that neighbor, tell that neighbor, tell somebody, you ought to be a soul winner. That ain't that important. Uh, amen. Amen. This, this, let's uh, stay in tune with the service. Amen. And nothing else is, is important. Amen. If y'all will, amen. Let's, let's stay tuned in and, and be praying for this service and not for what you might see mishaps. That's what it is a mishap and let it be just that amen turn your bibles if you will to colossians 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 uh chapter three colossians chapter three colossians chapter three verse 23 colossians chapter three and verse 23 amen colossians chapter three and verse number 23 this is a very familiar uh passage to many of us amen amen and if i would get away with it this is one of my favorite one of my favorite scriptures. I do have me some favorite scriptures, and this would be one of my favorites. I love this scripture. When I uh, remember when I first got saved some 40 years ago, and I read this particular verse and got a revelation, got a, an understanding, got insight to what Paul was writing when he was writing to this particular church. Uh, I, I love the things that Paul says to this uh, to the Colossians church one of the things that he said that is so endearing to me and this is not the verse that I'm going to be going to but it's just be one that I would throw out you throw out, out at you and it would be mortify therefore your members 
which are upon the earth. Mortify, therefore, your members. Y'all walk with me tonight. Amen. Today, walk with Pastor. Amen. Be praying with me. He said, mortify, therefore, your members which are upon the earth. Mortify. Who know what that means? Somebody said, put to death. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Amen. I heard my son up here praying, and he was talking about, amen, uh, Lord, kill this, put this to death, put that to death. And, 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 and these proclivities that we have, uh, the tendencies that still wants to live. I mean, we, we still have that stubbornness about us. You know, God be telling us to do something. Watch this. Watch this. God be telling us to do something through somebody. Uh, Y'all don't like that part. <laughs> uh, Y'all don't like that. We, we don't like God talking to us through people. We want God to talk to us through us. How do you know you hear him that well? You might not be hearing him. You might, you might be in such a bad mood or such a bad disposition that you ain't hearing nobody. You ain't hearing God. You ain't hearing the Holy Spirit. You're not hearing Jesus. And guess who else you're not listening to? You're not listening to the voice of reason that's talking to you through yourself. Oh, y'all yeah, better help pass. That's not my message. That's not my message. That's not my That's just orders. That's, 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 you could just uh, cash app us an offering for this right here, this portion right here, because it's not even a part of the message. You don't even have to give me an offering for the other message, but just give me a, a free will offering for this one right here, because this is free. Somebody say mortify, mortify. Mortify, therefore, your members which are upon the earth. We are so heavenly bound that we're not earth the conscious oh y'all ain't heard that before have you uh, i said we're so heavenly bound that we're not earthly conscious so you got to live on this earth you got to live on this you got to live around here yeah you got to live right here uh in this church you got to live in here when you leave you got to live out there when you get home you got to live at home when you go to mcdonald's and burger king and church's fried chicken and popeyes you got to live when you go there walk with me now when you go to work you got to live there but we want to live in church but we don't want to live nowhere else yeah, we get the church. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, glory be to God. We go all that in church. But when we get outside, now get, get wrong if you want to. Did y'all see them cut in front of me? I tell you what, let them cut in front of me like that. Oh, we get, oh, we get all belligerent. <laughs> when we out of the church, y'all ain't talking to pastor today. Uh, he said, mortify. Uh, that's not my message, but I got to talk about it because the Holy Ghost told me to talk about it. Mortify, therefore, your members which are where upon the earth. Touch that neighbor. Say, neighbor, we on earth. Yeah, we, we earthlings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we are human beings. Hugh, Hugh from the dirt. Hew from the ground, beings, human beings. Walk with me. You is color. God made you. God created you from this earth. And he created you to be on this earth. And you're going to be on this earth before you get to heaven. So you might as well live while you're living. You ain't in, you ain't in heaven yet. Now, now the kingdom of heaven is at hand. We are living in heavenly places. We are enjoying heavenly places. We are enjoying the wealth of heaven. We are enjoying the treasures that's in heaven on earth. But you still got to be mindful of the fact that you're living on earth. You got to live through here to get to there. Oh, y'all better walk with Pastor. Hey, that's not my message, but I'm going to flow with it. I'm going to flow with it. I'm going to stay right here. I preached uh, this other message some other time. But I got to stick right here. Somebody say, kill it. Kill it. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Kill that attitude. Kill that doubt. Kill it. Put it to death. Watch this. Kill your flesh. Not mine. Oh, it's easy to point out what's on me. It's easy to point out what you see me doing wrong. But what are you doing? Kill it. Put it to death. Somebody say kill it. Now, if you, you, you got that murdering spirit, kill that. Yeah, kill that, kill that, kill that proclivity you got to, to want to sleep around. Oh, y'all better tell I'm, I'm going to preach today. <laughs> Mortify, put it to death, put 
to death. Mortify, therefore, your members which are upon the earth. Nobody could have said it better than Solomon. And, 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 and somebody uh, had this conversation with me earlier today. And I know it's the Holy Ghost. Watch this. You cannot play with fire and don't get burned. You ain't, there's no way. I don't care who you are. You, you're not going to keep rubbing up on one another and you ain't going to uh, help me today. You ain't going to keep rubbing and rubbing and you ain't going to want to uh, do a little something, something. That's what, the, that's what the rubbing is anyway. Rub, rub, rubbing is, is just uh, 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 foreplay. Uh, Y'all better help me today. Y'all ain't going to love me today, but you'll love me tomorrow. I say rubbing ain't nothing but foreplay. You heading somewhere. You may, not, you may not get there, but you had it somewhere. It take, it take longer to get to California than it does to get to Orlando. Oh, y'all. Y'all mad at me today. Y'all mad at me. Y'all better follow me. Y'all better go with me. I said it takes longer to get to California than it takes to get to Orlando. But you can get to both destinations if you keep driving. Mortify. Put it to death. Mortify. Therefore, y'all better send me some hearts. Send me some thumbs up or something because I know I'm on it today. Yeah. Mortify, therefore, your members which are upon the earth. Somebody say, kill that stuff you living with. Yeah. Kill that stuff you living with. Kill that stuff. You, yeah, by son, no old shot. Jesus said it. Jesus said, if your eye offend you, pluck it out. That's how serious this thing is. That's how serious our walk with him is. If your hand offend you, cut it off. If your leg offend you, cut it off. If your bit, 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 y'all shot I better get, I better speak in tongues on that one. Uh, y'all know y'all got some other physicalities. You got some other, y'all better help me somebody. You know you got some other parts of your body that you need to cut it off. Mortify, thank you, Christian. Mortify, therefore, your members which are upon the earth, fornication. Ow! Fornication. Come on, you know you ain't married. You ain't got no business. Hello, somebody. You ain't got no business. Uh, 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 uh. Holy Ghost, help me tonight. Help me today. Help me. How should I put this? How should I put this? Um. Uh, uh, okay, you know you're not married. You ain't got no business tucking them in the bed. You ain't got no business tucking them, and they ain't got no business tucking you. Hello, somebody. Help pastor today. I'm going to preach this thing. If I had to preach to myself, you better leave that alone because you keep playing with that match. It's going to light out the while. You keep putting it on that striker. Keep putting it on that striker. Keep on putting it on that striker. And after a while, you're going to get some fire. Don't don't get don't be surprised when the fire uh, spark up because you keep rubbing it against that that uh, flint. Don't be don't act like you ain't know what was gonna happen. I wish I had been somebody. You know you know you keep doing the same thing. You keep getting the same results. Hey, ain't, ain't not, you ain't gonna get no different results. You keep doing the same thing. Keep on rubbing and watch what you get. Oh, Holy Ghost, help me today. Help me, help me today. I know this is the Holy Ghost. I promise you, this was not my message. I had no, no uh, inkling. I had no idea. I had no, no, no uh, uh, study on this whatsoever. The Holy Ghost says, say that. Mortify. Somebody say, mortify. It's time to put some stuff to death. Mortify. But mortify. Somebody say, mortify uh, uh, your members. He ain't say mine. You're always trying to kill somebody else's flesh. Kill your own. I wish I had some. The, the Williams brother said, uh, said, sweep behind your own front door before you try to sweep behind mine. Leave my door alone. Leave. I tell you what, you see dust on my porch, leave my dust alone and go home and get your dust off your porch. Mortified, therefore, your members, which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness now you you ask the holy ghost what that means to you your uncleanness might not be my uncleanness i wish i had somebody i said uh, your uncleanness might not be my uncleanness you always trying to tell somebody else what not to do ow holy ghost 
Uh, see, that uncleanness could very well mean this. Can I say it? This, this uncleanness could very well, well mean don't be eating uh, that nasty swine. That's what that could mean, unclean stuff going in your body. Hello, some It could be more than one thing. But no, we want to go to one thing, what we don't like. You don't like pork and beans, but now you don't want me to. Oh, there go Christopher jumping. <laughs> uh, you don't want. You don't like pork and beans, but you mad at me because I like pork and beans. Leave my pork and beans alone and, and eat your pork and beans. I wish I had. If you don't like them, don't eat them. But don't be pouring over there bothering my pork and beans. Telling me you don't. You shouldn't be eating that. Now that's unclean. Who's it unclean to you? Because I sanctified mine. Oh, I'm hollering up in here. Yeah. I sanctify my pork and beans. I'm going to eat my pork and beans if I want to eat my pork and beans. And, and now, now, I know the Bible says that if, that if your brother be offended by what you eat, don't, don't, don't eat it because he, if he's offended by it, no, no, I'm, I, just, I just take him outside of my house and tell him to stay out there till I finish. You at my house, at my dinner table, and I'm hungry, and I can't eat it because you're offended by it. Uh, uh, you, you can, yeah, yeah, I'm going to put you out. I got to put you outside. I got to put you outside until I'm finished. Amen, somebody. Listen, y'all, listen, listen. He said, mortify, therefore, your members, which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, inordinate affection. That's unusual affections. Uh, Y'all ain't going to like me today, LB, LPGQ, whatever you call yourself. You ain't going to like me today because let me tell you something. Inordinate affection, that means you you want to have sex with somebody that's not even, they're not even, a, they are of the same sex that you are. Tell me what you're going to produce. Tell me how you're going to procreate with somebody of the same sex. Walk with me. Tell me, man, how you and another man going to have a baby. That's not even, that goes against nature. Nature. I ain't bother nobody. I ain't, I ain't bother nobody. I'm not telling you you can't come to the I Am Church and, and, and be a member because you, you choose to sleep with another woman or sleep with another man. I'm not telling you that. I preach to you just like I preach to these straight folks in here who sin. Hello, walls. Don't y'all act like y'all holier than thou because you see somebody come in here, a man come in here with a dress on, and you don't want to sit by him, but you're sit by Willie Bobo who's sleeping with other women. Now you'll sleep with him, or you'll, you'll sit by him, and you ain't going to even frown. You ain't going to even say nothing. You're going to be all right. He, he telling you about all the women he's sleeping with, and then he telling you he, about the men he's sleeping with, and you don't mad at him. You don't even want to have nothing. You don't even want to fellowship with him. I'm not telling y'all I condone it. I don't condone it. I do not. I do not. Not, not according to the Bible, I don't condone it. But according, watch this, watch this. Y'all hear me real good because y'all might get mad at me. But according to the, 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 the laws, the, the bylaws of the state, I have to condone it. <laughs> because it's legal. This it's governmental for them to behave that way. But not biblically. Not biblically. I'm gonna preach this. Now when you come in the I am church, I'm gonna preach. This. I ain't going to be preaching the laws up in here. I'm going to be preaching the law of the word. I ain't going to tell you that you going to hell and, and the one who's sitting there fornicating ain't going to, he going to hell too. I'm not going to tell you you going to hell and the one that's committing adultery ain't going, he going to hell too. I'm not going to tell you the one who's stealing, he ain't going, he going to hell too. The one that's murderer, the murderer, he going to hell too. Yeah, by side. Except we all repent. We all going to hell. Except we act kind of so those side. Except we all turn, turn from your wicked ways. Turn. Somebody said, well, you know, I I I'm I, I don't have no problem uh with with somebody if they you know they they want to sleep with sheep, that's their business. Oh well, you know, that's that's more than their business, that's God's business too. <laughs> Help me somebody. Because <laughs> God didn't create me to sleep with no sheep. He, God did not create me to sleep with no dog. Help me somebody. God oh, Holy Ghost, I'm about to holler up in here. God, that's unclean, unclean is when you got that dog licking places he ain't got no business licking. That's bestiality. That goes against the nature of God. 
I'm going to preach this thing the way God give it to me today. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry to offend some of y'all. In order affection, it goes against nature. It goes against God's creation. It goes against how God designed you. You ain't got no bit. I said, can't that by Sunday. You ain't got no business desiring to sleep with the dog. You ain't got no desire. No, no. You ain't got no business desiring to sleep with the woman, man, if you ain't married to her. You ain't got no business desiring to sleep with the another man's wife man if you marry get it together get it together get it together evil concupiscence evil desire i say evil desire evil desire you 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 thinking evil things toward me you you wishing you wishing i catch covid Oh, y'all better help pastor today. I'm, I'm going to bother you today. You wish I get COVID because I, because I don't have no mask on. You say he going to get COVID. I ain't getting nothing. Get, get, you better, I rebuke you and the devil. I, I, I wish I had some help around here. When, when, when Peter said the wrong thing, Jesus looked at him and he said, Satan, the Lord, he didn't say Peter. He said, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. We need to start putting the devil in his place when he talked through people i'm tired of accepting mess coming through people's mouth toward me you talk like the devil in front of me i'm gonna rebuke the devil now don't get mad because you're talking like the devil i'm gonna rebuke that devil all up in your gums evil concupiscence evil desires and covetous oh boy we we skim all over that we we don't talk about this <laughs> that don't be a part of our conversation right here uh samantha we don't talk about this right here we skip all over this when when, when we get mad at people because they driving something we wish we was driving i want it because they got it get your own you he, he, he well, i tell you uh, he going to jail uh, uh, selling all them drugs all around here. Well, where you going? You you ain't driving. You ain't got no job. And you bother somebody. At least he hustling. At least, at least he doing something. And all labor that has profit. At least he doing something. And I wish I had you get mad if you want to. I ain't. I'm I'm not legalizing selling drugs, but I am saying the man doing something. He's trying to feed his family. He 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 started out trying to get a loaf of bread, but now he can buy a Bentley. Oh, y'all help me now. Oh, yeah. you done, you done, you done, you done got that loaf of bread a long time ago. It's time for you to put them, put that dope up. I wish I had it. Get you a legitimate job because I come to tell you, the rain is coming. DA gonna be kicking that door down. I'm telling you right now. Don't you think? Don't you think they don't see you because you got you done got away for a year. You done got away for two years. You done got away for three years. That's all right. They want more than you. They want a whole bunch of y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's all right. No, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't gonna preach that. I'm gonna get off of that. But and covetousness. Hmm. You just be talking about people and wishing you was wearing the same thing. Wishing you had the same thing. Greedy. Somebody say greedy. Just jealous. Just jealous. Just jealous. Just jealous. That's covetousness. That can go a long way, y'all. That can go. That can go this way too. Oh man, she so. That's a beautiful girl. He got. He got a beautiful wife. Oh she. Oh man, I get me. I get me one like that. Oh, man, did you just compliment the man? What's wrong with saying yes? She is. She is good looking. Oh, oh he is good looking. Uh, but no, we wanna. We 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 wanna be jealous. No reason to be jealous. Watch this. Watch this. Covetousness, which is idolatry. Ooh. Oh, no. I don't, I don't have no statues in my house. You got them in your heart. You talk, you be, you, you be condemning, you be condemning the, the Catholics when they like they, they, their incense, but you light yours in your heart. Oh, they ain't got no, what? Jesus, Jesus, done, he ain't on the cross no more. Why are they wearing that crucifix? Well, you got something going on in your heart. You got idolatry going on in your heart. At least they showing theirs. You hiding yours. 
Ooh, I'm about to run out of here today. I'm about to check out y'all. You had your idolatry in your heart, but they got theirs out in the open. They, come on, somebody. They lighting their candles and their incense out in the open. They got their hell marriage going on, on out in the open. You got yours going on in your heart. For which things? Y'all better catch this. For which things? All of what was forementioned. For which things? Say the wrath of God. Did y'all hear that? The wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience. Holy Ghost. Now watch this. Watch this. I didn't say you're going to hell. I did not say that. He didn't say it either. He said, but his wrath going to come on you. Boy, let me tell you something. I, 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 I got to say it. I got to say it. I will have all y'all in the church be mad at me before I want God to be mad with me. The prophet Samuel came to David. He said, David, let me, let me tell you something. Now, what you did was wrong. You had Uriah killed and you slept with his wife. What you did was wrong. And guess what? The wrath of God is getting ready to come on you as a result of what you did. Now you got a choice. You, do you want to fall in the hands of man? Holy Ghost. <laughs> or would you rather fall in the hands of God? Oh, Holy Ghost. <laughs> or would you rather fall in the hands of God? David said, let me tell you something. I'd rather fall in God's hand because God don't have mercy. Man ain't going to have no mercy. Man get mad as he ready to shoot you down. He ready, he ready to take your whole family out. He ready to set your whole house on fire. He ready to burn your car up. He ready, she ready to stab your tires. Y'all better help me today. But let me tell you, but God, the mercies of God last us forever, for eternity. I would rather fall in the hands of a living God because God would have mercy on me. I'm standing here today because God have had mercy on me. Who am I? Uh, who am I? Who am I to condemn another man's servant? Who am I to talk about you when God is having mercy on you? Who am I to tell you that you're going to be condemned? But what I will tell you is that God wrath. Uh, see, let me tell you something. Well, ask me how I know. <laughs> Uh, just because you repent don't mean there won't be no wrath. Just because you, 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 you didn't put the members of your flesh to death, just because you repent don't mean there would not be any consequences. There is consequences to all of our sins that come from God. You ain't got to beat them. You ain't got to tell on them. You ain't got to put them in jail. You ain't got to shoot them. You ain't got to stab them. You ain't got to cut their car all up and, and bust the windshield. God will deal with them. I feel good today, y'all, because the Holy Ghost done directed me in a whole new different direction. Somebody must be praying for me today. In thee, which you also walk sometime when you lived in them. No, act like you ain't never fornicated before. You done walked in it before. Come on now, unless you real young. <laughs> I wish I had some help. You know you couldn't wait to be, get a, be, become a teenager so you can bust that flower. You know, y'all know what I'm talking about. You know, you couldn't wait to, to, to be sassy. You couldn't wait. I wish I had me somebody. You couldn't wait to get that heat off you. I wish I had me a witness. But you better listen to the word of God. You better walk in the scripture. Samuel said, let me tell you something. You better serve the Lord while you're young because the evil day is going to come when you won't have no pardon them. You won't have no desire. You won't have no wish to partake. Why? Because you can't miss what you never had. <laughs> oh, I wish I had me somebody. <laughs> See, it, it's some, some drinks I don't have no problem with because I ain't never had none. They, but, but somebody got a problem with some of this stuff. Why? Because they drink it all the time. There's nothing for me to say. I don't want none of that. 
<laughs> There's nothing for me to say, I'm good. There's nothing for me to somebody offer me some, some marijuana, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> hey, somebody offer me some cocaine, I'm good. <laughs> Y'all better help me today. <laughs> but let me tell you something. But there's something they can offer me. I, I, I might have a second thought about it. Not that I do it. Y'all better help Pastor. I'm, at least I'm honest. <laughs> at least I'm honest about my struggles. <laughs> I'm honest about mine. I might, I might wrestle. I might, you know, but I, but I ain't gonna do it. Because why? Because I refuse to violate God. I'm thinking about I'm, listen to this, listen to this, listen to this. There's one thing that that would sure, there's one sure way to keep me out of sin. And that's knowing that God gonna deal with me <laughs> y'all ain't talking to me <laughs> uh, see, see i know the bible see you you see you you seem to think that that god's gonna violate his own word he ain't gonna do it <laughs> that's just like uh i ran the red light and when and the police saw me run the red light guess what he did he came right behind me <laughs> he didn't ignore the fact that i violated uh the law by running that red light see he he knew that there, that, that that i deserve consequences for running that red light i deserve some attention y'all better help out of the day. I deserve some attention for running that red light. And the same thing with God. You violate God. You deserve God to get your attention concerning that matter. Because I come to tell you today, it's just like a child. You keep ignoring that child. You keep telling that child to do the same thing over and over again. And you don't stand up and, 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 and put your foot down. You don't stand up and tell them if you don't get you. Mm. <laughs> if you got to grab them by the neck Grab them by their toenails, grab them by their neck, grab them by their hair. You better get, you need to get their attention. Because let me tell you something. That when you get their attention, the next time you holler out, get your behind in there and take a bath, I guarantee you they're going to remember what happened the last time. And they're going to be in there taking a bath. They ain't going to hesitate to go take that bath. Because they're going to remember the last time they hesitated, that switch came. The last time they hesitated, that leather belt came. I wish I had me a witness. My mama didn't play. My mama didn't tell you to do something nine and ten times like y'all do. My mama didn't tell, she didn't tell you to do something three times. The same thing three times. Before you know it, after she done told you the first time, she done pop knocked you upside your head. Oh, I remember the next time she told me to do that. I'm going to be running to get it done. The same thing with God. I done got in trouble with God too many times time for me to know that there's no consequences for that hey y'all better help pastor today that you violate god you and god ain't gonna violate you god's wrath gonna come on you god gonna deal with you concerning that god's wrath gonna fall on you because of your disobedience uh, walk it, Pastor. You ain't done yet. Verse number eight, and just in case you want to know where I am, Colossians chapter three and verse number eight. It says, but now you also put off. Now, yeah, he's talking to the disobedient up here, but now he's talking to those who are obedient and he's telling you to do the same thing. Now, 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 let me tell you what you also do. Now, 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 now. You also put off all these. Uh, Y'all saw just in case you thought you escaped with your attitude. I'm gonna deal with that too. God's so wise, boy, and he's smart. Some you know, you know, y'all know when Mama beat you. It's five of y'all, and you know Mama beat one of y'all, and you know you think you'd have got away because they, she ain't beat you. I tell you what, mess up and watch and see what happened. You you may not do that and get your whipping, but you did something else and you got your whipping. And the same thing applies to us you may not have committed fornication but you are malicious I said you are malicious you think evil don't you know that's a form of witchcraft flesh acts see we think it's the dust <laughs> We think we, we, we see witchcraft wrong. It's a, it, uh, somebody say malice. Yeah, you want something evil to happen to people. You wish they, you know, they, they, they lean it back in the chair and you say, boy, I sure hope they fall so they can learn a lesson. No, you don't want that. You don't want that because if they fall and break their neck, then what? Then you're going to, then you're going to be ho hoovering over them, uh, Father, in the name of Jesus, uh, <laughs> by your stripes, heal them. Now you done talked them into falling and breaking their neck, and now all of a sudden, now you done flip 
Uh, yeah, you hypocrite. Yeah, help, come on, y'all. Help pastor today. You hypocrite. <laughs> but now you, you also put off all these. Somebody say anger. Anger. Oh, boy. He said, don't let the sun go down on your wrath. Now, see, he said anger and wrath. But now, you know that, that now he said anger. See, anger, anger can be controlled, but wrath can't. See, you can, you, can, you can control your anger. But wrath, you know, wrath, you know, you, you furious. You out of control. Somebody's out of control. Uh, you know, you, that's for us who, who, always, who like to talk about our temper. I got a temper. You better get that temper under control. <laughs> See, watch this, y'all. Watch this. And I know y'all know the scripture. What, give me one of the fruit of the spirit that, that helps you control your temper. Now, we skip that when we want to get mad, though. We want people to see our temper. We want them to see us, ah, 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 turning to Dr. Jekyll. <laughs> and Mr. <laughs> uh, Dr. Frankenstein. When, when we want people to see us turn into that monster. But let me tell you something. Now, don't think you're the only one got a monster. Somebody got a monster in them a whole lot worse than yours. You, 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 you be careful who you point that finger at. Yeah, be careful who you, you, you violate. Because everybody, I say everybody ain't holy. And everybody don't have restraints. Everybody don't have self-control. Help me somebody. Oh, go on, Mincy. Go on back in the Bible. Go on back in the Bible. Now, but now you also put off uh, these. Somebody said these. Anger, put it off. Wrath, put it off. Malice, put it off. Blasphemy, speaking evil about the works of the Holy Spirit. Y'all better help me. Tell me that ain't that God. That, 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 that's false prophecy. Be careful. I said, be careful. Tell me they that they ain't prophesying. Be careful, because God ain't talking to you. Don't mean He ain't talking to them. I said, hello, walls, light bulbs, microphone, drums, all that. Be careful how you speak evil against the Holy Spirit. Tell me, that ain't God getting them out of them wheelchairs. How you know? That ain't God raising them up out of that hospital bed. How you know? Well, but if it was you, you'd, you'd clap your hands. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, uh, filthy communication out of your mouth. Now, that's your cuss words. Let me say that one more time. Filthy communication out of your mouth. That's for those of you who said cussing is not in the Bible. Here it is right here. Filthy communication out of your mouth. Come on, you know you call them that MF. I'm abbreviating. You know you, you come to my... Y'all know y'all be abbreviating. Y'all know y'all be abbreviating. You still, you still saying it. Hello, light bulbs. If you reference it, you said it. Hello. What do they call mofo? You still saying the same thing. You know what you meant? To my mofo. <laughs> you know mofo. Yeah, hello, walls. You know what you meant? Let me go, Mincy. Lie not. What? Lie not. Two? No, don't lie to God. Is that what they say? Lie not one to another. Stop lying. I just have to say it like that. <laughs> Stop lying to one another. If you ain't gonna tell the truth, don't say nothing. It's best to keep your mouth shut than to tell a lie. Talking about you, 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 you didn't do it and you know you did it. That's a lie. Hello, walls. Uh, let me go back over here. Lie not one to another, seeing that you have put off who? The old man with what? His deeds. You done put lying off. You ain't no liar no more. You used to be a liar. Yeah. Hello. And boy, I, ooh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Boy, I, boy I, could, I used to be able to 
to lie my way out of stuff. People know I was guilty. They know I was guilty. They know, I, but they couldn't prove it because I done, I done lied. And, they, and you know what people say, you know, say about lies. Say, say you got to be able to repeat it. To my, you know they lying. And you just keep going back at them. And if they, you, if they gonna change that? No, I'm not, not Anthony Mincy. I, let me tell you something, boy. When I was, when I was back in, in my lying days, I'll be able to lie and stay and say that lie. I repeat that same lie a hundred times if I needed to. You can catch me uh, nine years later, and I tell you that same thing I told you nine years ago. Why? Because I'm cognizant of the fact that you're trying to catch me. Oh, y'all ain't talking to me. You're trying to catch me in a lie. I don't lie no more now because I don't. I can't get away from God lying. You liars. Who think you can get away with lying? You cannot get away with lying because God knows. See, I learned that God knows I'm lying. Ooh, and his wrath is on all the cheering of disobedience. Oh, I'm about done. I'm about done. I'm about done. Lie not one to another, seeing that you have put off the old man with his deeds. Another S, all of them. And have put on what? The new man. Which is renewed in knowledge. Come on, your mind done changed. After the image of him that created him. Somebody say, I got a mind change. Oh, I'm, I got a mind change because I got the mind of Christ. I, I don't have Anthony Mintz's mind anymore. I don't have the old mind that I used to have. I, I don't have the desires to do the same thing that I used to do anymore. There was a time that, you know, that I would wrestle against doing the wrong thing. Y'all better help me tonight. Oh, but thank God I wrestle against, I wrestle, I wrestle. I don't want to do the wrong thing. I'm wrestling against, I, I'm, I'm fighting my flesh. I'm, I'm putting my flesh to death. I'm telling my flesh, we ain't doing that. I wish I had me somebody. But there was a time I wouldn't wrestle with my flesh. If my flesh wanted to do it, I went right on and did it. Y'all better help me today. If my flesh said knock them out, I'd knock them out. If my flesh said shoot them, I'd shoot them. But thanks be to God that I'm changed. I'm a changed man. The Bible says that if any man be in Christ, mm-hmm, Somebody said, check yourself, check yourself, check yourself. If any man be in Christ, in Christ, in, in Christ, check yourself, check yourself, check yourself. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. Check yourself, check yourself, check yourself. Uh, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. He's a new creature. He's a new species. Old things are passed away. He's a new man with the knowledge of Christ inside of his brain. Uh, see, when you get Christ uh, knowledge in your mind, it, it changes that, that uh, molecular structure that you used to have. It changes changes uh, your ideologies that you used to have. It, it changes your, 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 uh, your slangs that you used to have. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about that evil communication. I'm talking about that proceeding out of your mouth. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Eli Nasono, thank you for switching this message today. Thank you for keeping me up early this morning, late last night, and getting up early this morning for prayer, spending time with you, talking to you on the behalf of your people, interceding to you for those that's in prison, interceding uh, to you that uh, for those who are, are disease written, interceding uh, to you for those who are trapped in, tr in the in the troubles of the enemy, interceding with you early this morning. Get up early praying. Get up early working. <laughs> Hallelujah. But, but God, I thank you because I'm a student of your word. I, I thank you because you said study to show yourself approved. Under God, a workman that need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. This word today will be a word for another day. But thank God, God, you switch like a train on the tracks. <laughs> you switched it and sent it in the needed direction. Oh, we thank God today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank God for my media person back here. Thank God for Kareem. Amen. Filling in. Amen. For our director, the assistant director of media, Kareem Williams. Amen. Thank God for her. Amen. That's right. Y'all y'all see, Pastor, if you if you see me on your screen, you ought to clap your hands <laughs> because we got somebody who's working to make sure that happens. Amen. And she and, and guess what? She's a novice. Amen. But after a while, 
she gonna have that thing down to a science uh, you keep doing it you keep doing it that's all and, and and operate out of fear don't be don't be afraid to talk that tackle that thing don't be don't be afraid to, to to remember what you already know amen somebody amen we give god praise today thank god for all of you who uh, uh tuned in with us today share that please share the message share the message share the message don't just share the message but also like the message amen like the message amen and and and, and you have four ways in which you can watch and there it is right there on your screen amen 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 you can watch us amen on our website amen you can watch us on youtube amen you can watch us amen on facebook there are several different ways in which you can watch us amen and we thank god amen for those ways but also if you want to be a blessing to the i am church we we just celebrated our third year anniversary yes we're in three years if you wasn't able to make it out with us amen you missed a high time oh it was epic yes it was we had dr coswell amen from here in jacksonville florida amen she went to work she went to work she was mad at the devil oh my i was mad too but i didn't have the microphone i i had to deal with him over there where i was in my corner i had my corner i was her corner man that on that day she took her earrings off she took her juror up took her shoes off and she went to war did not she go to war y'all she went to war amen also thank god for my friend amen pastor murray out of orlando florida on that sunday that man of god he went to work amen thank god for him amen bringing his congregation amen also i think uh, amen uh, a apostle brown amen and, and apostle amen amen apostle brown and prophet prophet jackson i mean johnson i'm sorry amen prophet johnson amen then bringing bringing uh, their members out to be with us. Thank God for all of the people who came out, amen, to uh, celebrate with us on our third year anniversary. God bless you today, amen. If you are on the broadcast today, I would never want to leave without giving you the opportunity to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it this is your opportunity today to become a child of god this is your opportunity today to become a christian a christ-like individual how do you become that how do you do that well you follow the roman road the romans road says in romans uh, chapter 3 and verse 21 and verse 23 i'm sorry it says for the wages of sin is death but the gift of god is eternal life through christ jesus if we go to romans chapter 6 it says for for all have sinned and come short of the glory of god all of us done messed up amen uh you know, i ain't gonna act like i ain't messed up i done messed up bc and ac <laughs> y'all better help me today uh messed up before christ and after christ but thank god for his mercy amen but i but i just want you to know you can be saved you can give your life to the lord no you're not gonna be perfect when you first get saved but you will be perfect in him in the eyes of god you'll be perfect in the eyes of man you ain't gonna be perfect they're gonna see you and see if oh hell he's done slipped up oh yeah he didn't slip he's still cussing he ain't saved but in the eyes of god you are amen and that, that's all that's all that matters all that matters is that God says you saved that God has announced you to be a believer right now right where you are all you got to do is ask him to come into your heart all you got to do right now is say Lord forgive me of all of my sins I'm sorry that I've sinned against you I'm sorry that I'm that I'm that I'm, I'm a sinner I acknowledge that I was born in sin it ain't my fault I was born in sin it's Adam's fault that's who that's who did it he messed up and as a result of that sin fell on me and on the whole world but the second adam jesus you came on the scene that all of us have an opportunity all of us have a chance to be free from our sins and right now father i confess i admit that i'm a sinner and i want to be saved i want to be saved i want to be a child of god and right now i believe that god raised you from the dead i believe you died for my sins and i believe right now as as i made that confession i am saved i am born again and i'm going to tell somebody on this day right here april the second that i gave my life to christ april the second 2022 that i became 
a new believer. God bless you today. Thank you for being with us. Amen. Stay tuned with us again on Monday. Amen. Monday. Miracle Monday. Amen. With Pastor Mincy. I'll be back on Monday at 8.15. 8.15. Amen. Amen. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Tell your enemies. Tell everybody. Tell everybody that we'll be back on Monday. Miracle Monday and Tuesday night at 7 o'clock. We'll be back. Amen. God bless you. Thank you again for being with us. And for that, we say today we love you. And let me let me leave you with this. We walk by faith and not by sight. Bless you. Amen. We hope you were blessed by the worship experience at the I Am Church. Make sure you share this word with your loved ones. Remember, there are three ways you can give. Number one is website giving. Open up your web browser and type in www.tiacjax.org and click on the giving tab. Number two is giving through Cash App. Open up the Cash App on your Android or iOS device and enter your amount you like to send and search the I Am Church and click send and you will get a confirmation. Number three is using the Giblify app on your Android or iOS device. Thanks for watching and we hope you are blessed. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel at TIAC Jacks and like us on Facebook and Instagram. And for those who just gave their life to Christ, please visit TIACJacks.org backslash salvation and fill out the contact form. Thanks for watching and have a blessed week.